Hello, and welcome to the realm of Cal Sahara. I am the dictator for life, Travis McHenry. I've been ruling Cal Sahara since 2009. I was originally the king. King Montague was the name that I took. Unfortunately, I was forced to abdicate my throne last year, and I turned over the reins of government to my son, King Nicholas. Uh, I have retained some say in the way the government is run with my current position as head of government and dictator for life. Remember, I'm only dictator for life. Let me go ahead and take you on a quick tour of Cal Sahara, show you some of the sites. We're standing today in the capital city of Otisburg, and this is our primary landmark in Otisburg. It is the Great Flagpole, which is built here around the uh, Montague Square, which is of course named for my original reigning name. So we constructed this using uh, various building materials that we purchased uh, from the neighboring United States, and also the pile of rocks there originally served as the Otisburg Fire Pit, which was constructed in 2011, and then uh, was repurposed into the Boots Brannan uh, Memorial site in 2012. And we have, again, reused those rocks to help uh, shore up our flagpole here. So this is Montague Square. It's sort of the, uh, the national square of Cal Sahara. As you can see, it's still very small. The idea is uh, in progressive years, as each year goes past, we'll add continuing uh, layers of brick around it and eventually it will be much larger. Now, if we come over here, you can see this old nasty piece of wood here. This is actually one of the original border stakes that we use to stake out the edges, the four corners of Cal Sahara's uh, property. So uh, we came here one year and they were all dilapidated and destroyed. So we took it out and, and to preserve it, put it right here in the center of Otisburg. And if you come over here, you can see where the Otisburg fire pit used to be. Now there's just charred remains, nothing but pieces of old burnt wood. So whenever uh, visitors come and tourists do come here once in a while, our citizens and everyone is free to use this fire pit as much as they want. Of course, we are going to rebuild the Otisburg fire pit. As I said, it has been deconstructed to provide building materials for uh, Montague Square and also for our newest monument. Come on over here, follow me. So our newest monument is the Founders Footprints. This is the august spot where our great founder, the dictator for life, Travis McHenry, first placed his feet. And we have encased them in metal. This is a very hard metal material and uh, preserve them with remnants of the Otisburg fire pit. This is all indigenously uh, queried uh, pieces of rock from the neighboring area of Cal Sahara. So we brought that in to preserve it, to protect it, and the kids really think it's fun to come in and stick their feet in there. Uh, the, the, the dictator for life, the founder of Cal Sahara, of course, is not anyone as great as Clark Gable or Arnold Schwarzenegger, but the kids still think it's fun to see how their feet fit in his very oversized footprints. So that's a quick tour of Otisburg. Next, we're going to be heading across the, the valley floor there to uh, our second city, which is Hooverville. That's our rundown, dilapidated area of Hooverville. So this is Hooverville, the dilapidated, nasty house that sits out here on the vast Carrizio Plain. We conquered this in 2011 when Cal Sahara went from being a simple three-acre kingdom to being a 120-acre empire. So this became sort of symbolic of Cal Sahara's uh, imperial designs, wanting to conquer as much free territory as we could. This uh, particular structure is not too far from our capital city of Otisburg, easy enough to walk to, uh, less than, a, but maybe less than a quarter of a mile away. So we come here once in a while to check up on it. There's a barn owl that lives inside, an old white barn owl. Now, if you look inside the Hooverville structure, you can see some nasty, disgusting uh, owl pellets from the big old white barn owl that inhabits these hallowed territories. It's quite nasty and disgusting. Let me just get up in here. You can sort of see where the owl pellets are. 
and there's a big nesting area uh, that they that the owl has built up. Hooverville, the bastion of Kalsaharan excellence. <sighs> you know, at the end of a long day, uh, governing this fair realm, there's nothing quite like a, a glass of wine. Just relax here in the beautiful plains of Kalsahara, the beautiful arid high plains of Kalsahara. Just relax, watch the sunset. Take pride in a job well done. And well done to you too, fair citizens of Kalsahara.